Hello, welcome to a What's in the Box video. I have actually been meaning to upload a uh, pickups video for quite a while now, but haven't got around to doing that. Uh, but since this box has arrived, I thought I would put this one up first. So, uh, What's in the Box this time? Uh, it's a big lot I bought off of eBay. Lots of random figures like, figures like usual. All sorts of random stuff in there. Uh, mostly from the 90s, but there's some 80s stuff as well in early 2000s, so a, a good mixture. Uh, the box is really big and really heavy, so let's just go ahead and open it up with the trusty Michael Myers knife. Like I said, I'm not too sure what's actually in the lot. I roll my sleeves up. All right, there we go. Put that up out of the way. All right. Let's just move the box around. Alright, there you go. There is the first look into this, this uh, magical box of mysteries. Alright, so let's just start going through it. First thing I see right here, this is a Marvel Legends figure of Craven the Hunter, which is from the Sinister Six box set, but I believe it was also re-released as part of the Spider-Man Classics line. No idea what this is. Uh, DC Comics, so Man Bat or something along those lines. Oh, uh, we have the, I think it's T1000 from Terminator 2 by Kenner. I'm missing his um, ass, which is a common fault of that figure. Uh, then we have a TMNT figure from the early 2000s of Michelangelo. Um, Another one here which looks to be sort of transforming, mutating one of uh, Donatello, possibly Leonardo. I always get those two mixed around. And uh, another one there. Uh, some kind of transformer figure looks to be a Marvel crossover. Oh yeah, it's marked on the inside Marvel. No idea what this character is though. Then we have a King Kong from the movie Kong. Uh, this bloke is from New Adventures He-Man. Not sure what the name is though. Just pull these things out. I have no idea what these are. They are absolutely giant and are made by Sunco. Which sort of make generic knockoff toys. A bit like that chap in my company. That's... Weird, there appears to be another one. Yeah, it's sort of like giant, like generic soldiers. <clears throat> Alright, then we have an Uruk High, possibly Lurps. Oh, this one's Michelangelo. A Kenner Superman. Then right here we have, uh, no, it's from Extreme Dinosaurs, which is sort of like a spin-off of Extreme, no, um, Street Sharks. And I believe this guy's called T-Bone, but it's from the second series, which all had sort of like mech armor on. Another obscure 90s cartoon, Ke um, Mummies Alive. I remember watching this show when I was younger, never really liked it to be honest. Yeah, then we have Malfoy from one of the first Harry Potter films. A load of rubber bands that just flew out for some, out for some reason. All right here we have another turtle. I think this one is uh, Leonardo or Donatello. Like I said, I always get those mixed up, mixed around. Mario, Mario from the 
Mario movie, the live action one. You know, made by Ertl. A Batman figure. Hobgoblin, which looks to be either the Secret Powers or the Toy Biz one. I'm going to say it's probably the Toy Biz one, I'm not sure though, I don't really collect Marvel figures. Alright. Uh, here we have Venom, also from the Sinister Six box set, but the thumbs are missing, which is uh, a common fault with this one. Power Rangers Ninja Storm, some sort of transformer. Um, this is a Toy Biz. Yeah, it's a Toy Biz um, Venom. And then we have an early 2000s Foot Soldier. I think 2004 these came out. And another sort of Carnage Venom type character. Another turtle. Electrode with his head missing. Uh, the Maestro from Marvel Legends. Not actually sure. I assume it's a Hulk figure. But um, I know it's from Marvel Legends. The same Carnage Venom character. A vintage foot soldier. Green Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. VR Troopers. I think this is a Fright Features Peter. Uh, from the Kenner Ghostbusters range. A Woody toy, I think this one was by Nestle. I do remember having this one when we were younger. Maybe a McDonald's toy, one of those. The Penguin from 2004, so I'm not sure what line that is. Uh, just the standard Proton Pack, Peter, Venk, no, um, Egon. Nice blokes from Disney's Atlantis, um, looks to be a McDonald's toy, yep yeah, it is a McDonald's toy. Some sort of Fighter figure of Wolverine, a rock and soft and S robot. This is the lizard from Spider Man Classics. The larger scale Tommy from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This one was in, to what, to what I know, I think this one was exclusive to the deluxe White Tiger Zord, which had this one and a coin with it. Uh, then we have a Fright Features Winston, a Kenner Beetlejuice, the spinning head, it originally would have had a sort of head over the top of it, a Kenner Batman, what's this one, um, camera, is this one Jungle Fury from Power Rangers, the Blue Ranger? Some kind of variation of Dr. Octopus. Sort of rubber bands in here for some reason. Um, we have an Orc from Lord of the Rings. Mr. Fantastic. The Thing. Uh, another one of those fighters of Venom this time. We have Hermione from one of the first Harry Potter films. A hobbit looks to be Merry or Pippin. Another Batman. Lord of the Rings. Can't remember this bloke's name. And then we have Legolas. Some kind of other Buzz Lightyear small figure. Powering to the belt spin. 
Um, what year was this? 98, so I'm going to either say it's Lost Galaxy or Space, I think it was called. One of those two, probably. Uh, some kind of uh, animated style Joker. Got two Power Rangers from the movie when they turn into ninjas halfway through it and fight a load of rock blokes. It's pretty cool. I think we actually had those when we were younger, a couple of those. Another Kenner Batman. Bob the Goon, which is a, from the Batman a Tim Burton movie. And the leg is supposed to kick. But, um, yeah, there's... Something about this one doesn't look right. It looks like some kind of bootleg. And it feels really cheaply made as well. So it could be... That one could be a knockoff. A Marvel Legends Iron Fist. Harry Potter in Quidditch gear. And that one, again, that one's Mary or Pippin. I'll leave that one to last. And a Fright Features Egon. Yeah, Fright Features Winston. A McDonald's toy of Catwoman from the Batman animated series. Woody. Uh, this bloke from Power Rangers. Hands broken off though in transit. Not too worried about that one. Uh, then we have another Buzz Lightyear that appears to be covered in some kind of ink. Random sword. A load of rubber bands. And uh, then this one. Uh, this is essentially the reason I've been on the light. I saw this one in there. It's um, Hannibal from the A-Team. But I'm not really sure why these were made, but there's a set of the larger figures that are in sort of weird, sort of strange coloured clothing. And uh, the Hannibal one happens to be in like a neon blue shirt. And uh, they, they're quite hard to find compared to the sort of standard colour ones. I'm not really sure why these were made. I think they could have been only f available in Europe. But um, they're pretty hard to find, so pretty happy to get that one. Alright, so overall this lot I think has been pretty good, but uh, say what you think in the comments if you think it was a good lot. Uh, put a like on the video, and um, follow me on Twitter as well, I've just made a, an account for our YouTube, I'll put a link to that in the description. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, goodbye.